Okay, so already we've talked about binary see, to decimal and back. Um, I also want to talk about uh, doing binary to hexadecimal as well as binary to octal today. All right. So, so if you want to go, by the way, from decimal to hexadecimal, um, it's probably good to just go via uh, binary uh, uh, representation. I mean, you could go directly if you want, but um, it's, I mean, if you already converted from uh, decimal to binary, it's pretty straightforward to convert between these two and these two. Um, this is actually the hardest conversion of the bunch. Um, these two are pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's take a look at converting between uh, binary and these two uh, bases. All right, stop. So let's take a look at um, the more useful one first. We'll look at binary to hexadecimal. So just to review, um, we have in uh, binary, uh, sorry, in, in hexadecimal we have 16 possibilities because hex, remember, is hex is just uh, 6 in uh, Latin in uh, decimal. So uh, decimal, or deci means 10, so 10 plus 6, that's 16. Huzzah. Okay. So in hexadecimal, let's just kind of go to the side over here. Let me get some room here. <coughs> we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, sorry, not 10. Herp -derp. Instead of 10, we're going to say A. Right, that should be A. So this is where we get to hex A, B, C, D, E, and finally F. Okay. So these are 16 possibilities in hexadecimal. All right. So the equivalent in binary, by the way, so um, is relatively straightforward. We just need to count in binary. So let's just do that. I'm going to count sort of the, um, the the typical way. So I'm going to start out. I mean, I could do either from the most significant bit or the least significant bit. Um, but the way I do this is this. I'm going to say, okay, I'll start from the least significant bit. So I'll say 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's our one spot, our two spot. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Then I have my four spot. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, and then finally our 8th spot um, is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And remember, when we're counting in binary, so those are 1s, our 2s, our 4s, our 8th spot. And the way we count in binary, just a review, uh, we're alternating every other time every two times, every four times, and every eight times we're alternating between uh, our all possibilities. Okay, so uh, <coughs> so this is the conversion between binary uh, over here, so we have binary up, up here, so this is going to be binary, whereas this over here is hex, a decimal, but I'll just say hex for short. Okay, so all right, well Hmm. So suppose I want to I have some random number in in, uh, in binary. So let's just take a look at that. Um, suppose I have like say one one o one o o o one o. Let's say one one o. Say okay. Now this is not necessarily going to be um, yeah. So let's just look at this number here. If I have this number here, so this is our binary number. Um, I'm going to look at this in chunks of four. So I'll say look at. And I'm going to work my way from the least significant bit, which is this guy over there, all the way up to my most significant bit, which is this guy over here. So this is the least significant because it contributes the least to the number, whereas this contributes the most to that number. 
and I look at this in chunks of four, right? Because I have four bits over here on this side for each hexadecimal number. So there's 16 possibilities, and well, 2 to the 16, I'm sorry, 2 to the 4 is 16, right? That's why this works. So four bits represent 16 possibilities, right? So 2 to the 4 is 16. That's why uh, we can do this. So I'm going to go from my least significant bit to my most significant bit. So I'll just look at this one. So we have four bits over here. Okay. And now, okay, so here we have three bits. Okay. All right. Now, if we have only three bits, what we should do is we should assume that there's four bits. We're just going to pre-pin this with a zero. So we'll say this is going to be a zero. The reason I say that is because um, we can always put zero in front of a number without changing that number. So, okay. So zero one one zero. So um, to do this conversion, right, I had to look up this on in this table over here where I have all these uh, numbers here. Now there's actually a fast way to do this. A really fast way to do this. Um, if I just notice the pattern here, right, um, it's kind of like looking at, uh, like divide and conquer, right? You have a, you have a phone book, right? Um, you, know, you never start. I mean. Uh, now the way humans look in a phone book is not quite the same as the way a computer would, but um, if you start in the halfway spot and then decide which way to go, you can uh, divide and conquer here. So um, I can do that here. So if I say, okay, well I have, um, I know I have zero as my first, my most significant bit in this chunk here. So I have this chunk of, of four bits. The most significant bit in this chunk is zero, okay? So I'm going to go look at 0, that narrows it down to these 8 possibilities. The next bit over here is 1, so that narrows it down to these 4. And 1, that narrows it down to, well, um, pretty much down to these 2, but I know the next bit, the la least significant bit, is this guy. So that's just 6. So I'll just write down 6 over here. So 0, 1, 1, 0 is 6. Okay. 1, 0, 0, 1, well, okay. I'll just go down to the 1, so these, okay. And I have my zeros, okay. So it's going to be one, z 1 of these guys. And zero one zero zero okay and I, okay great so now I know it's this guy okay so and right, finally have zero one one zero again so that's okay that's six ninety six okay great all right so that's <coughs> by the way this is not decimal this is in hexadecimal so one thing we should do in this class by the way is we should make the appropriate notation to say that we are in the right base so I'm gonna try and make sure to for binary numbers, I'll say 0b, and for hex, I'll say 0x. That's a convention that's used in most programming languages. Uh, so if I say 0b followed by something rather, that's going to be a binary number. And if I say 0x followed by something rather, that's going to be hexadecimal. Okay, so we'll prepend our numbers. So this is this just signifies this is not decimal. This is just x. And if I leave the number alone, we'll just assume it's decimal. So there you go. So let's let's try to convert uh, a different number. So um, let's go the other direction. So that was, by the way, uh, binary to hex. Okay. Now going the other direction is, uh, as you can imagine, probably pretty straightforward. So let's here's another. I'll have a hexadecimal number. So I have zero x, and I'll just say something of interest to me. I am a dad. So there you go. This is a hexadecimal hexadecimal number. Let's convert this to binary. Okay. So what we do actually is just this. We're just going to go in this table over here um, and then figure out, well, uh, what binary corresponds with that. So if I have this D here, well, that's just going to be these this thing here, this number here. So that's 1101. Okay. And then for A, well, it's just going to be 1010. And finally, D, well, we already did that, so it's just 1101. Okay. So there you have it. That's that's the binary. I mean, it's how much to this? So uh, going between binary and hex is pretty straightforward. <coughs> um, now, if you want to look at uh, something similar, like say between binary and octal, um, what we would end up doing is um, uh, something very similar. Only uh, instead of looking at uh, four bits, we only look at three bits. Here's why: 
octal, by the way, is base 8, right? Um, so if I want to represent 8 possibilities, I only need 3 bits, right? So 2, 2 to the 3 is equal to 8. So I only need 3 bits to represent all 8 possibilities. In fact, if I look at just this part of the table, so if I look at just this part over here, right? Um, this, just this part over here, um, so this whole thing is hex. Maybe we should write this arrow here, over here, say so hex over, over here, and erase this guy over here so there's no confusion. Um, okay, I'll do that. There we go. Okay, so if I look at, look at these things over here, this is octal. And if I ignore the first bit here, and I just look at the remaining bits, so if I ignore the most significant bit, which is this bit over here, I'll just ignore that. And I look at the remaining bits, okay? Um, I can do this conversion uh, between binary and octal. So um, I'm kind of out of space. Let me uh, let me uh, let me just do this separately. So we did binary to hex and hex to binary. So let's just um, let's just take a look. So we have um, we want to look at binary to octal and back. So if we have binary and octal, so we say, okay, well, um, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? And then we have um, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, okay, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then finally 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? So this is our octal. This is our binary. Okay. Now, if I have a number like say, um, I suppose I have the same number that I had before. So we have this. What was it? This number here, right? Um, <coughs> so let's just copy that around. Let's see. So I have. Let's see, let's make sure I get this here. I'll select this number here. I'll copy that. I'll paste that number down. So. Copy and then paste. Oh, well, I guess it's not working. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, what I'll do then, I'll, I'll just move this around. So can I move that? Let's move that. Nope. Nah. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll just write the number down. Shouldn't be lazy. Okay. So let's just copy that number down the old fashioned way. Um, so I have 1101, 1010, 1101. This number here. This is dad, by the way in hex. Now, if I want to convert this to uh, octal, what I would do is I look at this in groups of three, not in groups of four, right? So I look at groups of three, right? So I have three bits over here. Um, and just as if, I mean, in this case, we happen to have just the right number of, of uh, bits here, but if I, if this didn't exist, I'd have to fill it with zero. I mean, if there was, if there was a missing uh, digit, like, um, like we had before. So we do the same thing. We just say, okay, well, instead of looking at four bits, we're looking at three bits. So 101, well, here we go. That's going to be five. And this 101, five, okay. And then 110, that's going to be six. And then we have 110, that's six. So this is zero, oh, this is, by the way, this is octal. Uh, so this is this number in octal. So there you go. Um, 6655 in octal is going to be dad in hex. So that's how you can convert from binary to octal and the conversion back is the same thing as before. Like if I were to, if I had a um, octal number, like say I have the number, I don't know, um, two, three, five, seven, right? Let's say we have this in octal. So let's convert that to binary. It's just fill out these things, just look up and, and plug and chug. So this is a zero, 010, zero, right, which is this guy over there. Uh, 3, that's going to be zero, 011. One. And then 5 is 101. And then 7 is going to be 111 one, one, one over there. Um, let's suppose I want just for fun. So that was binary to octal. I'm sorry, that wasn't binary. That was octal. That was octal, I should say, to binary.
right, so suppose what I want to do is I want to convert this now into hex. So um, I would look at this, you know, four bits at a time. Now I don't have my table in front of me, so this is going to be a little more challenging. So one, two, three, four. So we have four over here, and we have okay. So okay. All right. So now I happen to know this is going to be f. The reason I can say that this is going to be all uh, all ones, right? So uh, if I go back to my table over here, f is going to be all ones. Um, we have a little bit of our table here. So, and one 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 o is going to be e. So one 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 o is e. Uh, yep, that's going to be e. And then over here we have one zero one o o. That's going to be that's going to be just uh, four. Yeah. So it's four e f. In x. So there you go. That's the conversion for you. It's really just looking up stuff in a table. If you have this table here handy, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, same thing if you have this uh, hexadecimal table over here, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So there you have it.